In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to highlight the differences between two editing modes when you're working with video clips and when you're working with titles. If you have PowerDirector 365 and you've gone for the update, you're going to see two different modes. If you have PowerDirector 2024, you'll see those same two. The older versions of PowerDirector had two modes as well. They had the Express mode and the Advanced mode but you got to them differently than you do in this new version. This version has the quick mode and the advanced mode. So we're going to show you how to get into either one, what are some of the significant differences. The good news is if you like editing the old way with the old menus, you can do it. I'll show you how in a moment. First of all, let's assume we want to work with a video. I have this project here. I'll play a few seconds of it. It's basically a promotion about joining a local league. Okay, let's assume what we want to do is edit either the video or the title. Let's go to video first of all. I'm going to click on the video on track number one. And with it highlighted, I'm going to double click on it. Now that opens up a new screen on the left side. They call this the quick edit mode. And basically what they've tried to do is to take everything you can do, all the tools, and that's the, the bar on the left, all the tools that you can use, to modify this particular video. Sometimes when you click on the subcategories on the left, you're going to see more details of tools on the right. Other times, it will open up a brand new window. So if I do position, size, and flip, now I have those controls on the right side of that left panel. Opacity, fade, and blend, same. Border and shadow, same. Trim, ah, trim doesn't do that. Trim opens up a completely different window. So I can take and use that and then get back to it. I'm going to close that out. Crop and rotate. Again, crop and rotate will open up a separate window. So it just depends on the kind of tool you want to use on the left, whether or not you're going to see the subcategory controls on the right, or it will pop up an independent screen. It tries to give you all those elements on the left at once. The other thing it has is color controls. You click here, and here we have our color and lighting controls that we can use pretty similar to what we've seen before. That's what you see when you're using the quick edit mode. Let's assume I don't want to use the quick edit mode. I have two options. I can highlight that same video clip and press the F2 function key. And when I do that, it will open up the advanced editing mode. And here we have a very familiar screen that we used before and we can maximize or minimize the bottom part for the keyframes. But we have our familiar controls all on the left side that we can use and any of these categories so you can edit just as you did in earlier versions of PowerDirector. Let's close that one out. The other way I can get into that same mode is to double click on it and then click on the Advanced button. If I click on Advanced, it takes me right back to the same old-fashioned screen that many of you are used to if you've been using PowerDirector for a while. So you've got those two doorways into either editing style and you can choose the new menu called the quick edit menu or you could use the advanced menu, whichever you prefer. Let, let's see what happens when we work on a title. I'm going to click on the join today and it reminds me I need to turn that off that my playhead should be above the clip. Let's move it and click join today and now I see my title menu. This is called the quick edit menu for titles. It doesn't work exactly like it does for videos. As you notice, things are stacked from top to bottom and it has these different elements here. We're going to deal with that in a different tutorial, but again, it will expand each of these subcategories like in blend. I can look down here, position and size. I can make that larger or smaller, but everything is supposed to be there, slightly redesigned to work with titles. Again, if I don't want this menu, if I want my old fashioned menu, I can click on the advanced button in the lower right corner, and I'm going to see my old fashioned title menu. It's changed a little bit. I have new presets. Again, we'll talk about that in the future, but basically all the menus that we're used to in the upper left corner are still there 
no change. So if you don't want to learn a new interface on editing titles in the advanced mode, you don't have to. Once again, when you're working with those titles, let's close the menu. And what I can do is I can click on that and press the F2 function key like I did with media and I'm into the same designer, my old fashioned advanced designer for titles. So if you want to skip the quick edit mode, that's the quickest way to do it when you're working in CyberLink PowerDirector. There have been some advances and changes in the tools you have to work with titles in CyberLink PowerDirector, and we're going to show those in subsequent tutorials.